What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle and this is my 2002 Saab 93 convertible. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to su subscribe. If it's not your first time, thanks for your continued support. In today's video, we're going to take these old looking rims and make them look brand new, which will transform the entire appearance of this car. Let me show you. So guys, as these cars age, the clear coat will either peel off or yellow out. And in this case, we have a combination of all of the above where the clear coat has has faded off, peeled off, such as like on this rim here, and it just makes the car look absolutely terrible. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do a first things first. Look at this. Look at this rim right here. This rim is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And these rims are one of my favorite Saab rims that Saab ever produced. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to clean the car, degrease the rims, then we're going to pull it in the garage, dry her off, take off those rims, sand them down, prep them for paint, paint them, and voila. I even might even, I might even go ahead and paint the lug nuts because the lug nuts rust out and who likes that? So stay tuned guys. I hope you enjoy this episode. And also follow me at Kyle Pantsis if you want an inside scoop. We got some plans in the works. I'm trying to figure out which direction to go here since all the DMVs have been shut down. But follow me on Instagram at Kyle Pantsis if you guys have any questions and you ever want to reach out and chat with me. I'm always there to answer any questions you may have. So be sure at Kyle Pantsis, give me a follow. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this video. Right, guys now that we have this thing cleaned up power washed degreased on the rims you can really get to see all of the imperfections that we are having on these tires and rims or on these rims every tire every rim has a little bit of an issue and of course the worst of it was when the car was hit a couple months ago if you haven't saw that vi those videos this car was hit right over here Okay, we got it fixed thankfully, but you can see all of the uh, leftover marks from the car, car's tire that hit the car. Luckily, it was a low impact, so there was no damage to the actual suspension, just mostly here. That was the brunt of the force and then tire rub there. So, anyways, we're going to put this thing in the garage, get it up, get the rims off, and start sanding away. guys so there is my layout to paint the uh, bolts and now we're gonna go ahead I removed the center caps we're gonna give everything a really nice sand and smooth everything out then we're gonna degrease it and then we're going to primer and paint this is the fun part stay tuned <laughs>
that's a lot of sanding and a lot of work, boys. But uh, we're gonna let all these things dry in the sun for a little bit. I'm gonna take a little lunch break since it's lunchtime. And when I come back, we're gonna tape them up and uh, start to prime and paint. So that's what that's gonna be. And then I am gonna probably move on to finishing up the, the uh, ceramic coating on this car. A couple weeks ago, I did a, uh, a video of ceramic coating and making this thing summer prepped. I actually ran out of time that day. I did everything except for the passenger side. So we're just gonna knock that out in the process of painting since things have to dry and I have about 10, 15 minutes in between sprays to do that. So we'll knock it out. But, uh, but yeah, here's the car, everything's off. You got new brakes and rotors in the, in the rear. We got good brakes and rotors in the front. You can see all the freaking meat we got left on that pad. We did the suspension, we got the cooling system, and now we're gonna have freshly painted rims. And uh, it's gonna look really nice for the summer and tomorrow or today, this weekend is the first beach weekend here in Jersey. So we will probably be getting a good use out of it this year. So I look forward to that. So stay tuned boys. We'll be back here shortly, taping those up and priming it. Oh, I forgot, we gotta do this too. I'm just gonna sand those off camera real quick and get them going. All right, boys, so we uh, power washed everything to get the dust out, and now I'm gonna take microfiber and some uh, wax and grease remover, and we're just gonna wax and grease everything, and then we'll primer and paint. me just primer everything and uh, we're just gonna let it dry for about a half hour in the sun is perfect outside temperature wise the sun is out and it's about 70 degrees out today so it's great so it is great all around for this type of work so we'll let that sit for like 20 30 minutes settle up and then I'll do a, a light sand on some of it wet sand on some of it and then go ahead and paint stay tuned boys all right, boys, here goes paint. I have three of these bottles. They are uh, high performance paint, real paint. It's gonna make the car faster, guys, it's high performance. All right, let's hop into it. boys I loaded it on there but uh, everything's looking nice and glossy glossy and shiny just the way we like it 
So I'm gonna give that probably about an hour here to dry. Let me see what time it is. Stand by. This is what I love about the sob. You can just click this and it's 2.43. So I'll give that a, a solid hour in the sun to bake. And then once it's done baking for the next hour, I'll go ahead and remove all of the paper. Maybe I'll remove the paper now, just in case the wind kicks up and blows it into the clear. I don't want that to happen either. So I'll take off this and then let it sit. So stay tuned and I'm gonna just clear coat the rest of this with the ceramic coating on the, on the side, the side that I missed earlier I told you about. So uh, there you go, boys. This is how you keep your 18 year old car looking brand new. It's literally in the rims and the glossiness of the paint. This thing doesn't look like it has 170,000 miles on it when we're done. Can't wait to show you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, behind that garage is freshly painted rims on a Saab. It's the next day here, I let everything settle overnight. So let me just pull everything out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, boys, here is the final walk around freshly painted rims and lug nuts. These things look almost pretty much brand freaking new. Look at this, how nice these rims came out. And of course we did the, we finished off the ceramic coating for the rest of the car here. So this side is now completely ceramic coated, 100% finished, ready for the summertime. Look at these things. Bam. All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And of course, as always, comment below and give it a like so others in the community could get a chance to look at it. The 9.3 convertible is 100% complete up to maintenance and up to looks. We have the paint corrected. We have fresh paint, as you just saw on the rims. This thing looks like it just came off of the showroom. And this car is almost done. If you haven't been paying attention, in the last episode, we did the, we did the window rollers on the passenger side, and I started to work on the HVAC system. I put a pause on that. Probably get back to it this week, but I'm pretty busy, so that's on hold. But in the next episode, be sure to stay tuned for it. We're going to talk about the engines in both of these cars, the 2.0 liter and the 2.3 liter from, these, from this era. Saab used the 2.3 all the way up to 2009 in their 9.5 platform. And in 2003, convertible, they stopped using the 2.0 in the US spec 9.3s. I know in Europe, they used the 2.0 as an option for their 9.5, probably all the way up until 2009. So I'm gonna go through those engines. I've done a buyer's guide for these cars. I've talked about maintenance for these cars. And one thing that a couple people have mentioned in the community, if you follow me at Kyle Pances at, on Instagram, somebody had mentioned that they blew an engine in their 9.5 due to oil loss, oil pressure loss. So I'm gonna do a video in the next episode discussing what to do to prevent oil pressure loss in these engines. I know a lot of the maintenance stuff that I've got done in the buyer's guide and other videos that I've talked about these issues, the sludging, but I'm going to talk about what causes those issues. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.